This week on Cars with Big Boy Trev, we preview Toyota's latest entrant in the compact crossover market, the Starlet Cross, loaded with tons of technology and practical like a Swiss army knife. Question is, will it challenge the Kia Seltos and the Volkswagen T-Cross? Finally, we review the stylish Mercedes A-Class sedan to check out its design, performance, safety and give its value for money proposition against its chief rival, the BMW 2 Series. Catch this and much, much more on your Kazi Big Boy Trev this Sunday at 5 p.m. only on NTV. Welcome to Cars with Big Boy Trev Extra. My name is Big Boy Trev. It's all about the news and reviews from across the world. And Toyota is set to unveil the 2025 Starlet Cross to the African market. Riding on the success of the Starlet Hatchback launched a few years back, Toyota have announced plans to introduce a higher riding Starlet Cross based on the urban cruiser Taizo, which has made waves in India. The local Starlet Cross lineup will comprise of four derivatives at launch, each being powered by an efficient 1.5 liter engine. And of course, this particular engine is called the K15B, which is also found on other Suzuki models. Now, this particular engine produces 77 kilowatts and 138 Nm of torque and sent to the front wheels via either a 5-speed manual or 4-speed automatic transmission. Some of the key features that will be in this brand new Starlet Cross will include 16-inch alloy wheels, LED headlamps, automatic air conditioning, a leather trim steering wheel, 7-inch touchscreen system, cruise control, rear parking sensors, and of course, a reversing camera. Some of the safety features that will be expected include anti-lock braking system with electronic breakfast distribution, stability control, in ascent control, dual front airbags, and isofix child seat anchors. The Starlet Cross is expected to fight it out with the likes of the Volkswagen T-Cross and the Kia Seltos for domination in the Kenyan market. Keep the cars a big battery for the exclusive review of this particular model and we'll try to drive it fast only on CBBT. Welcome to Kazi Big Butter of Social Media Feedback Segment. We give you the opportunity to speak of what you've seen on the show and how we can improve CBBT. We jump straight to our Facebook page and our top fan, Mr. Humphrey Ham Kagwe, says, Watching from Ongata Rongai, looking forward to see the new Land Rover Defender Okta on our Kenyan roads. Well, say no more, Big Boy Trev will be on ground to test this particular variant very soon, so keep it on our channel. Now, the second person who actually loved the show is a guy called uh, Sean Travo, and he says, Sportage is incredible compared to the Sorento. Well, I can say for a fact that the Sorento is a bigger model than the Sportage. However, in terms of styling, it's very unique, so I can understand your predicament. And finally, we have a lady by the name of Shani Brilli, and she says, CS for roads and transport should be given to our guy Big Boy Trev, doing a great job. In terms of the show, it was nice. Just hopefully, NTV will listen to a cry and add this show time banner please well thank you so much i appreciate the fact that you've seen the courage and we're trying to hit content as much as possible well ntv probably probably add a few more minutes of the next season of cbbt but that's it guys thank you so much for joining us on kazi big boy trev in terms of questions comments or queries and hesitate to write to us a scene on the social media handles below and we'll give you feedback next week now it's time for us to get into the driving wheel of the mercedes a-class sedan enjoy So the compact luxury sedan segment is growing at an exponential rate. We've seen the likes of Mercedes-Benz, the leaders in the luxury business, fill in the gaps of their traditional models. So the C, the E, the S now have sisters. You have the A-Class, you have the B-Class, and there are many derivatives that are coming into play. BMW have not been left behind. You do have, instead of the traditional 3, 5, and 7, now you do have the 1, the 2, the 4, the 6, and of course Audi as well with the A3, the A5, and the A7. So all these filler models are trying to target a younger generation. Even from the design theme, the level of technology, everything is trying to target this young generation that is now growing into these brands. So don't cast the big boy Trev, it's all about the brand new Mercedes-Benz A-Class sedan. Now fast for Kenya, of course I'm gonna give you a lowdown on how it drives, how it looks. 
the technology and so much more. The question is, can it outshine the Audi A3 or the BMW 2 Series? Let's start this review by taking a look at the design face of this particular car. And we start with the design now. As you can see, it's a typical Mercedes face, the modern generation of Mercedes Benz. So Mercedes have gone for the softer edges. And of course, as you can see, trapezoidal grill with a honeycomb mesh with a big Mercedes Benz logo right here, denoting that this is a three pointed star. You're not forgetting, this particular car is very aerodynamic. The drag coefficient is 0 0.26. For those who don't know drag coefficient, it's basically how slipstream this vehicle is to ensure that you have good fuel economy. That is something amazing for Mercedes Benz. That is the era that Mercedes are leading, the design phase of this particular Mercedes Benz sedan. Now, as you can see, and we move to the side, this is a typical Mercedes layout. So at the front, you do have the typical A-class design. And as you move towards the rear quarter, and of course the kink, you do see some touch of the C-Class, which is the bigger brother to this particular A-Class sedan. Mercedes have done and ensured that the design face of this particular vehicle on the side profile looks very coupe-ish, looks very stylish and sportish. Now, as you move to the back, this is again where I want to see inspiration actually for the new Mercedes-Benz S-Class came from. Now, as you can see from this design, Trivazodial wraparound headlights with this LED signature also denoting style and performance. That's a new design language. You see it in BMW and Audi. It's also on this particular A-Class sedan. It's time for us to check inside and see, is this a proper Mercedes-Benz? Does it have the tactile quality, the materials, the bespoke nature of Mercedes-Benz? Does it have the level of technology that you probably find in an S-Class? This week on Cars with Big Boy Triv maintenance segment, we discuss the importance of major yearly service. Major service is normally done between 15 and 20,000 kilometers. This service involves the checking and replacement of serviceable parts that are critical to the operation of your car. Engine oil. Your old, dirty oil is replaced with clean oil. This makes your engine run smoothly and efficiently. Filters. The oil, air, fuel and pollen filters are all replaced. This makes your car run more effectively. Spark plugs. Your car's spark plugs are used in the combustion process and are replaced to maximize your vehicle's performance and enhance fuel economy. Brakes. Your brakes are inspected for wear and tear. If they are in good condition, they are cleaned and adjusted accordingly. If they are damaged, they are replaced. Fluids. The transmission, clutch, brake, Power steering and cooling fluids are all flushed and replaced. This ensures that the systems utilizing these fluids run perfectly and enhance the efficiency of your car. A battery test is done to confirm that your battery is charging properly and is not leaking battery acid. If the battery acid levels are low, deionized water is used to bring the levels back up to the required position. FVA in full means Associated Vehicle Assemblers. FVA was started way back in 1975. Uh, we are located at the coastal region of Kenya. It's a fully owned company by Simba Corporation. As a contract assembly, we do assemble for different uh, source manufacturers. We assemble for more than uh, 10 different source manufacturers who have uh, supplied us with more than 40 different models of vehicles. On full throttle, our production capacity is 30,000 units uh, per annum, that is per year. But currently, we are only utilizing less than a third, a third of our capacity. So we are projecting to produce more than uh, 4,000 units only this year. AV is a contract assembler, and we do assemble for different source manufacturers. The first one being Toyota where we assemble different models for Toyota, that is Toyota Hilux. We assemble Toyota Land Cruiser, that's Police Land Cruiser. We assemble Hino. Uh, we also assemble for Scania. Uh, Scania, we do assemble both trucks and buses. We also assemble for Simba Corporation, who are our 
main uh, shareholders or our owners. We assemble different models for them. We assemble Fuso from India. We assemble Mitsubishi Fuso trucks from uh, Japan. We also do assemble Mahindra pickups from India. And also recently we launched Proton, which are the first passenger cars that have been assembled in AVA for the last 25 years. Our main scope of work is assembling of uh, vehicles. And in assembly, we have different uh, layout and different uh, areas where we handle the parts. Uh, the first stage involves receiving of the kits and preparing them for assembly. And in the assembly line, we have different sections, starting with the trim area, where uh, uh, an empty cab shell is fitted with different components like uh, seats, like the dashboard, uh, the wing mirrors, and even the windscreen and other components. Then the next stage is the chassis line. And in the chassis line, uh, we have wiring harnesses that are body wiring harnesses that are assembled. We also have uh, the fuel lines that are assembled in the chassis line. And we also have the next stage that is engine station, where engine is married to gearbox, uh, the subframe, and also the suspensions. And then the final area or the final line where all the fluids are filled in the vehicle, like the, I mean the, the fuel, the steering, uh, uh, steering oil, and also the coolant. And that is the stage where also diagnosis is done to detect if there's any assembly error, and then the flashing of the error. And then the, finally, we have the quality area, where all the quality parameters are tested, like uh, check on the brake test, we check on the wheel alignment, we also do shower tests just to make sure that the vehicle finally conforms the standards of the source manufacturer. Skills enhancement is one of our key areas of focus. In fact, we've set up a training school where we are able to develop the unique basic skills that are required for vehicle assembly. So we have a training school where we are able to train, nurture, and also develop these unique skills that helps us in day-to-day -day work in a vehicle assembly. Right now we are just utilizing a third of our capacity. So that means that we have big capacity to expand. And one of the areas we are looking into is to support our existing customer base, try to encourage them to introduce more brands. Uh, right now we just launched the Proton uh, car and you expect from Simba Corporation. And we are also expecting to support other uh, customers also to venture into the same area. Another area that we are looking into is to, in line with the Big Four agenda, is support manufacturing by establishing uh, facilities within AVA where we can also produce uh, local contents that are used to support manufacturing. And uh, to achieve all that, we require to look at uh, a use of clean energy. And uh, one, of the, uh, one of the areas that we are looking at right now is to have a solar panel plant that we can be able to tap energy to assist us in our operation because our operation involves our consumption of uh, uh, energy. So guys, you've seen from the walk around the design phase of this particular vehicle, the A-Class sedan. Mercedes are trying very hard to get the younger generation into the Mercedes family. And they're not actually playing. They've actually used the design of this A-Class to inspire the current S-Class that's being launched the other day. And we're going to review that on Cars with Big Boy Trev, hopefully very, very soon. Now, let's start with the dashboard, as you can see. So there are basically two layers. So the upper layer has soft touch plastic. And of course, it is separated by another piece that actually has some carbon fiber finish. And of course, the lower part has a textured finish. It looks tabular and then goes all the way down. Now, this particular design is interesting because it reminds me of the older Mercedes-Benz, the W116. This is a very old school designer. As you can see, you do have also circular turbine air vents that have ambient lighting, which Mr. Mirigi is going to show you all about. These subtle features that make the A-Class sedan one of the most appealing small entry-level Mercedes anywhere seen in this country now let's move to the main highlight of this particular dashboard it's this mbux system which mr Murig is going to give us a lowdown so this is the latest infotainment system courtesy of mercedes-benz you do have a 10 and 12 inch display high resolution 
obviously as you can see the gearbox console is quite big and you can actually slide over and then it will reveal spaces where you can actually put your cell phone and in the higher spec models you, you do have a wireless charging pad so you can charge your phone if it has wireless charging and of course you do have two cup holders right here now i know you're wondering where is the where is the gear shift there's none in this particular vehicle because mercedes have shifted the gear shift from a traditional position to a stock on the right side of the steering wheel and we're going to touch much later about it now that creates space for certain aspects so basically this whole aspect controls the mbx system so it's a touchpad and you're able to toggle through the different settings scroll swipe touch so basically it's like a computer it's like a mouse basically on the left hand side you have the dynamic button so basically dynamic button is where you actually toggle through the different gearbox settings so sporty dynamic and efficient able to toggle through and i'm gonna test the different variations of this car and see the changes that gives this car that jeune sequoia the driving performance you're gonna find out later on and obviously you do have the mercedes star link basically if you get stuck you're able to call the mercedes center and able to rescue your vehicle depending on the country that you're in so that we're going to discuss later so obviously over here on the armrest you have a, a center console as you can see you have usb ports and of course an auxiliary port where you can actually put your iphone and connect to the mbux system and let's move over to the second part of this review where we're talking about the instrument binnacle so the mbux is one but obviously there are two screens so on the main one basically it's a whole screen that you can toggle through with different settings so it will give you all the details about what's happening in the engine the steering wheel as well as you can see three spoke standard and of course mercedes have put that genesis core we keep on talking about so there's some stainless steel exit around the three spoke steering wheel and of course you have haptic field buttons on the left and right hand side of the satellite button so on the left hand side basically controls anything to do with mbux on the right hand side is the cruise control functionality plus toggle through the different menus on the vehicle information system that's here on the mbux now guys i've said so much about this particular car but it's time for me to hand over the reins to mr mirigi who's a resident tech expert and of course going to give you a lowdown of the mbx system which we first saw at frankfurt motor show a couple of years back and now we're going to dive deep into it and see what it does to enhance practicality of you while driving the mercedes a-class and then we're going to move to the back see the practicality the boot and then drive the a-class sedan only on cars with big boy traffic moving over to the back seat the leg and headroom are quite adequate, although for someone of my size and stature, it would be a tight fit. Infused headrests offer adequate neck restraint, while the seat cushions offer much supported bolster suitable for long distance. While the rear seating space is practical with plenty of door bins for storage, plus airline style pockets to keep your iPad or tablet safe, while the USB type C slots will charge most devices with ease. Now moving over to the back side, this is where you see all the elements of design congregate to form this unique design. The rear profile looks amazing. Now as you can see, the rear part actually looks like an S-Class. Now the rear tail lamps as well, trapezoidal, have that unique look that Mercedes is actually trying to attract the younger millennials and Gen Zs into the Mercedes brand. As you can see, the trapezoidal rear tail lamps have that unique LED signature lamp that makes it look unique, number one. And number two, increases high visibility for anybody who's following you at the back. Now you can see the chrome exit on the boot lip giving this car some vision. Thank you very much. And of course, right below it, you have a color-coded bumper that gives this car that premium look and feel. And the twin exhaust, they don't that this particular vehicle has a bit of performance. Now it's time for us to get in the car and feel the power of this particular engine, drive it, the chassis, safety, then give you value for money proposition as this could be your next premium sedan. Enjoy. So guys, we've just seen from the walk around and of course the tons of technology placed on the Mercedes-Benz A-Class sedan and I can tell you Mercedes have impressed anybody who's a tech vile anybody who loves technology to be impressed with the offering of the mbux and many other subtle features that makes this particular car an impressive offering for anyone who's young upwardly mobile and wants to get into the mercedes family but it's time for us to see whether this particular mercedes a-class sedan fits the bill of being badged at mercedes benz so let's start with the usual performance which i love so basically this is an a180 sedan now, when you say A180 in normal Mercedes nomenclature, it would mean perhaps it's an 1800. No, 
this particular vehicle is a 1300 cc vehicle and it is turbocharged petrol four cylinder 16 valve with direct injection now it produces 100 kilowatts or in bhp terms 136 and of course 200 meter meters of torque that is sent to the front wheels courtesy of a seven speed dct transmission or 7g so when you put your foot down on sport mode this particular vehicle accelerates from 0 to 100 listen to that 8.9 seconds before topping out at past 205 kilometers an hour now this particular gearbox allows you to explore the full potential of this very peppy engine so let's start with the platform of this particular a-class sedan it is based on mercedes transverse platform where engines are basically front and of course the drivetrain is front wheel drive so it is packaged to enhance that a vehicle still has that sturdy rigidity that you probably find in any mercedes benz and of course allows for clever packaging of the gearbox and as well as the drivetrain of the vehicle so this particular platform allows this car to still exploit the full potential of a mercedes that means the tuned suspension you can actually order this particular car in different sets of uh, engines and suspension and of course up front you do have independent suspension back fast and strut and at the back you have torsion beam with adjustable variable dampers that allows this car on the high spec to actually be planted at any given surface now let's talk about safety critical component in any vehicle mercedes benz are renowned for safety these are the pioneers of safety bella barrieni the legendary safety designer who made crumple zones who put the first seat belts in vehicles who put you know collapsible steering column all that knowledge has now been translated in this particular a-class so basically the vehicle has a mix of active and passive safety features to ensure that you remain out of harm's way so from active front you have the umbrella esp electronic stability control which basically controls certain aspects like anti-lock braking system electronic brake force distribution brake assist to ensure that you remain safe when you're in an emergency you need to get out of the emergency with ease but in case all hell breaks loose then you can rely on the six airbags that comes as standard this particular vehicle a five star sturdy chassis and chassis that allows this particular car to dissipate impact energy away from the passenger cell to ensure that you remain safe and of course the primary tool is a safety belt so make sure you wear safety belt at any given time that said it is important for us to find out what this particular car is all about value for money what are the key players in the segment is it the audi a3 or the bmw 2 series are they able to match with the offering that Mercedes have put on the A-Class sedan, MBUX, all these technology packs, ambient lighting, all that in an entry-level Mercedes-Benz sedan? Let's find out. Jen, Mirigi and I as we talk about the value-for-money aspect of the Mercedes A-Class sedan. So ladies and gentlemen, today on Cars with Big Boy Trev, you've been privileged to be in the presence of Mercedes' most accessible vehicle, the Mercedes Class a sedan and i can tell you mercedes is speaking the right language to the right people tons of technology of course as you can see the design is perfect and of course still has the attributes of a mercedes benz it rides properly it's got performance and of course it's safe the mercedes a-class comes with the two-year unlimited warranty and one can rely on cfr motors kenya's extensive network to maintain the a-class sedan finally we do know that this particular vehicle exists in a space where there's so much competition who's the key rival with this particular mercedes a-class sedan the bmw 2 series makes its claim on the mercedes a-class based on this would you pick the a-class over its rival send us your thoughts as seen on the social media handles below we we'll get back to you with the feedback next week until next week drive safe and be safe